What is going on, my YouTube family? It's the Milkman, and we are back with another video. So this time, we're back with a new trailer. I uh, ended up being able to pick up a 2018 it's a Will trailer. It's a dual dual lift. In the previous videos, I was pulling around an older Wilson trailer. Uh, when I first had started pulling Myron's trailer here, and uh, I was able to just, he had one sitting down in Greenville, Tennessee. So after I unloaded the pigs there in Kodak, I ran over to Greenville and grabbed this one so i'm pretty excited about it i figured i might as well uh, do a little walk around to the trailer and show you guys kind of what's different on it it is obviously a lot nicer a lot newer a lot more light <laughs> which is cool and the side panels are different so we'll get started here on the walk around and i hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching okay so we'll get a good view of the whole trailer here Cool thing is that it's got the white panels on it, so it actually matches my truck. It looks sweet. And the dual dual lift, you can see it's got the tandems in the back and then it's got the lift axle on the back. So, first of all, you can just see, like I already said, it's just a lot nicer, a lot newer. 2018, I think that other one was like a 20, 2006 or seven or something like that. So this one's got the nice rails here. As you can see, if you watch my previous videos, I can I showed you how to board up the trailer. So the animals don't freeze to death going down the road. And I mentioned how the nicer trailers have the guides in there to put the boards in. So they just go all the way up and you don't have to use another board to try to guide it and uh, keep it in the, uh, rail so that's going to be really really nice i don't know all the differences on this trailer but i'm just going off of what's visible uh, visibly different and that i noticed different also my other trailer was previously tipped over before i had gotten it and i actually went and picked it up wilson trailer at the shop there because they had just fixed it up so this one has a really nice box on it you can see you got the extra boards down there I keep my boots in there, my rattle paddle, and my, uh, I don't know what you want to call that thing. And the nice thing about this trailer is that it actually, everything stays dry in there. And my other box, my box would get soaked and sometimes there would actually be uh, dirt or uh, water in my boots, which was uncomfortable. I'm sure you could understand. So I'm not 100% sure what the deal is here, but this one actually has a ladder right here so you can crawl up in there. I don't know why you would use that. I guess I'll have to ask around and see. I Obviously I didn't have that on my other trailer, so I'll have to ask around on that. This one's got a nice little gate here so you can open it up when you're gonna wash out your trailer and all water and stuff will flow out. Where my other one didn't have that, all I did was open my door here and uh, spray it all out the door so this one's got the clear lights down there as you can see it uh it's got the three here uh there's no wires hanging down down there it's just like it's crazy how clean this trailer is compared to my other one so this is the other side of it not really any different there's just no doors on this side compared to the other side so we'll open up the trailer here this one's only got one of the, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, but whatever you wrap the rope around. My other one had two. I would put it down here and then wrap it up. But you can also tell this rope is a lot shorter. All right, so this is going to be walking up into the trailer. As you can see, whoever had it before me left the stuff down. I'm going to put all that stuff up right now. Uh, they left the jail down. I'll throw that up quick. Got a nice step here and a nice handle here. That is the one nice thing about new trailers is they're all put together and working. So when you put these up, there's a cord right here. And when you pull down on it, it pulls that pin out and it pulls that pin out. That, then you just put it up. Same thing to pull it down. This one's got a nice little lever there for that. You can see these are slam latches. So when you open a door and then you need to shut it, you just slam the button. This thing is in the way down here. You push it right shut like that. This one is in just much better shape than my other trailer. Like 
My other one did not work this well at all. It was a struggle to get the doors opened and closed on it. So you can see how this works. Get this out of here, put this back where it's supposed to go. See how this just slams shut like that? My trailer did not do that. I had to always pull down on this and then try to get try to get it shot. But this one just it'll slam shut like it should. This one doesn't have my other trailer had the door where it would swing open and you could stand in there while you uh load and then they can push the cattle up and then you just come out and push them down into there or in the front cut. But you just pull down on that, open it up. And this one's actually got another cut in the jail even. It's pretty interesting. I guess I haven't seen that before. So this is what I really want to see. Let's see, so my other, in my other trailer, my old one, this right here, watch this. See how that just went in there like that? My other trailer would not do that. I had to pick up on it and mess around with it just to try to get it to latch in there. I'm telling you, that caused me a lot of issues when I was loading many times. So uh, that's gonna be real nice. And I'll actually be able to pull this up and keep pushing the gate through. And that just helps push the cattle and the pigs down in so they don't keep moving back. My other one, I couldn't even get it pushed through nine times out of 10. So this is gonna be really nice too. This is my this is my first time going through this trailer, so I'm still kind of seeing what all it even has. But this goes in here like this. Get it lined up. It's weird how smooth everything works. But look at this. Now when you're pushing the cattle and the pigs, mainly the pigs, because the cattle usually cooperate pretty well, but they're not gonna go up there and then try and jump down in. Now they just right into the nose of the trailer. That was so disappointing when all the pigs would run up and they would sit in that corner and then they would just jump down there. It's like the ramp is right there, you know? So that is gonna be really nice i can't tell you how excited i am to use this trailer everything works so smooth oh my goodness okay look at this i actually don't wow no way okay so this is a little different here this is going to be different here on my other trailer the ramp to go down in was on that side this time it's on this side. So that'll be a little bit different. Um, otherwise, everything's basically the same on it. We just unlock, unlatch this here, pull this out, I'm assuming, up and down. And then, uh, oh, what do we got going on down there? Must have not latched something. Anyways, this drops down and then they just walk up the ramp right into the nose. Looks like we're missing a pin down here I'm not sure where that would be because what it looks like yeah you can swing it actually interesting all right so we're gonna drop this back down then pull this out pull this up now this is gonna be interesting because this is my decking right like normally I have decking that I gotta pull out and put up farther you know if i have big cattle in here i gotta pull that out it's short in here so it's hard for me to stand here um but i gotta pull the decking all out you can watch them on my videos and then i gotta put it up or i gotta pull it all out and put it down and this one has a crank up here so how does that work oh my god for real look at this I literally just crank it up instead. 
Okay, we gotta put this up though first, it looks like. Let's see here. Oh, I see. All right, let's. Anyways, I don't know what I'm gonna be picking up next, but wow i'll never have to uh put decking in again <laughs> that'll be sweet so it looks like what you got to do actually is put this up and that must be why the door swings so you can put that up because it doesn't go up this has to be down here in order for it to be able to be picked up So, like this, and then swing it open, and then you just pick this up. Like that, I'm assuming. And then your decking is up. Wow, that's gonna save a good 15 minutes right there. Not having to worry about that anymore. See, now I can go down here. I can stand up, no problem. As you can see, I got room and I'm 6'2", so. And the lights in this trailer at nighttime are like daylight. It's crazy, the difference. My other trailer, like, it lit it up but it was nothing compared to this trailer. I turned this on at nighttime and you can see everything so good. So, there we go. I am super excited to use this trailer. And I'm also excited because it's actually getting nice out now. It's actually, enjoyable to be outside let's go check out the belly all right so this is really similar to my last trailer the bot the uh door there just flips up and that flips open then you walk down in here and then this would just shut over there which would work uh i know that gate's gonna work no problem so i'm not worried about that this is undone here Make sure that's latched up. I've actually had unlatch before, and the pigs, when I fueled up, the pigs were standing uh, on the edge there, looking down into the bottom, the belly. And I was like, oh shoot. So I had to crawl in. I crawled in here from a side door like that on my other trailer, and just went up there and shut the gate. But, anyways. That's a walk around of my new trailer here. All right, so that was just a quick walk around of my new trailer. I'm really excited to get using it. I haven't had a load now. I've been sitting here for about three days now. It's just been dead out here. Seems like all year's just been really slow, but hopefully springtime coming up here, it's gonna get more busy, but I haven't hauled a load with it. I'm really excited to, and uh, I will see you guys when I get loaded. <laughs> 